嗯，好了，背诵第一到三十课课文。Lesson one, a private conversation. Let why did the writer complain to the people in Anne? Last week I went to the theater. I had very good seat. The play was very interesting. I did not enjoy it. A young man and a young woman were sitting behind me. They were talking loudly. I I got very angry. I could not hear the actors. I turned around. I looked at the man and the woman angrily. They did not pay any attention. In the end, I could not bear it. I turned around again. I can't hear a word. I said angrily, "It's none of your business." The young man said rudely, "This is a private conversation." Lesson two: Breakfast or lunch. Why were the writers and just surprised? It was Sunday. I never get up early on Sundays. I sometimes stay in bed until lunchtime. Last Sunday, I got up very late. I looked out of the window. It was dark outside. What a day! I thought it's raining again. Just then, the telephone rang. It was my aunt Lucy. I've just arrived in by train. She said, "I'm coming to see you, but I'm still having breakfast." I said, "What are you doing?" She asked. I'm having breakfast. I repeated. Dear me, she said. Do you always get up so late? It's one o'clock. Lesson three. Please send me a card. How many cards did the writer send? Postcards always spoil my holidays. Last summer, I went to Italy. I visited museums and sat in the public gardens. A friendly winner taught me a few words of Italy. Then he lent me a book. I read a few lines, but I did not understand a word. Every day I thought about postcards. My holiday passed quickly, but I did not send cards to my friends. On the last day, I made a big decision. I got up early and bought thirty-seven cards. I spent the whole day in my room, but I did not write a single card. Lesson four. Exciting trip. Exciting trip. Why is Tim finding this trip exciting? I've just received a letter from my brother Tim. He's in he's in Australia. Has been there for six months. Tim is an engineer. He's working for a big firm and and firm and. He has already visited a great number of different places in Australia. He has just bought an Australian car and has gone to Alice Springs, a small town in the center of Australia. He will soon visit Darwin. From there, he will fly to Perth. My brother has never been abroad before, so he's finding this trip very exciting. Lesson five: No wrong numbers. What does no wrong numbers mean? Mr. James Card has crashed in Surrey. And now he has just bought, just bought another garage in Pinhurst. Pinhurst is only five miles from Silverie, but Miss Skirt cannot get a telephone for his new garage, so he has just bought twelve pigeons. Yesterday, a pigeon carried the first message from Pinhurst to Silverie. The bird covered the distance in three minutes. Up to now, Mr. Skirt has sent a great many requests for spare parts and other urgent messages from one garage to the other. In this way, he has begun his own private telephone service. Lesson six. <coughs> Percy Buttons. Who is Percy Buttons? I've just, I've just moved to a house in Bridge Street. Yesterday, a banker knocked at my door. He asked me for a meal and a glass of beer. In return for this, the banker stole my hat and sing songs. And sing songs. I gave him a meal. He ate food and drank the beer. Drank the beer. Then he put a piece of cheese in his pocket and went away. Later, a neighbor told me about it. Everybody knows him. His name is Percy Buttons. He calls at every house in the street once a month and always asks for a meal and a glass of beer. Lesson seven. Too late. Did the did the detective save the diamonds? The play was late, and the detectives were waiting at the airport all morning. They were inspecting a valuable piece of diamonds from South Africa. A few hours earlier, someone had told the police that thieves would try to steal the diamonds. 
When the plane arrived, some of the detectives were waiting at the airport uh, were waiting inside the main building while others were waiting on the airfield. Two men took the bus off the plane and carried it into the customer's house while two detectives were keeping guard keeping guard at the door. Two others opened the puzzle. To their surprise, the precious puzzle was full of stones and sand. Lesson 8. The best and the worst. Why John's Garden the mo why is John's Garden the most beautiful one in the town? John Sanders at the most beautiful garden in our town. Nearly everybody enters for the nicest garden competition each year, but Joe wins every time. Bill Frank's garden is larger than Joe's. Bill works harder than Joe, works harder than Joe, and grows more flowers and vegetables. But Joe's garden is more interesting, it has made neat path, and has built a wooden bridge over a pool. I like gardens too, but I do not like hard work. Every year I enter for the garden competition too, and I own I win little bold a little prize for the worst garden in the town. Lesson nine. The cold welcome. What was what does cold welcome refer to? On Wednesday evening, we went to the town hall. It was last day it was the last day of the year and a large crowd of people had gathered under the town hall clock. It was it was strike twelve in twenty minutes time. Fifteen minutes passed, and then, at five to twelve, the clock stopped. The big minute head did not move. We waited and waited, but nothing happened. Suddenly, suddenly, someone shouted. It's two minutes past twelve. The clock has stopped. Clock has stopped. Has stopped. I looked. I looked at my watch. It was true. The big. The big clock refused, refused to work on the new year. At that moment, everybody began to begin to laugh and sing. Lesson ten, not for jazz. What had, what happened to the clan court? We have no musical instrument. It is called clan court. It was made in Germany in 1681. Our clan court is kept in the living room. It has belonged to our family for a long time. The instrument was bought by my grandfather many, many years ago. Many years ago. <clears throat> many years ago. Recently, it was damaged by visitor. Uh, by visitor, she tried to play jazz on it. She struck the keys too hard, and two of strings were broken. My father was shocked. Now we are not allowed to touch it. It is being repaired by a friend of my father's. Lesson 11. One good turn deserves another. Who paid for Tony's dinner? I was having dinner at a restaurant when Tony Steele came in. Tony worked in a lawyer's office years ago, but he is now working at the bank. He gets good salary, but he always borrows money from his friends and never pays it back. Tony saw me and came and sat at the same table. He has never borrowed money from me. While he was eating, I asked him to lend me 20 pounds. To my surprise, he gave me the money immediately. I have never, I've never borrowed any money from you, Tony said. So now, you can pay for my dinner. Lesson 12. Goodbye and good luck. Where is Captain Allison going and how? Our neighbor, Captain Charles Allison will sail from from Portsmouth tomorrow. We're meeting at the harbor early in the morning. He will be in his small boat, Topsail. Topsail is a famous little boat. It has sailed across the Atlantic many times. Captain Allison will set off at it at eight o'clock, so we will have plenty of time for six boat and then we'll say goodbye to him. He will be away for two months. We are very proud of him. He will take part in an important race across the Atlantic. Lesson 13. The Greenwood Boys. Why will the police have a difficult time? The Greenwood Boys are a group of pop singers. At present, they are visiting all parts of the country. 
they will be arriving here tomorrow. They will be coming by train, and most of the young people in the town will be meeting them at the station. That's at the station. Tomorrow evening, they will be a, they will be seen at the workers' club. The Greenwood boys will be staying for five days. During this time, they will give five performances. As usual, the police have a difficult time. A difficult time. They will be trying to keep order. It is only the same on this occasion. Lesson 14. Do you speak English? Did the young man speak English? I had amusing experience last year. After I had left a small village in the, in the south of France, I drove on to the next town. On the way, a young man waved to me. I stopped and he asked me for a lift. As soon as he had got into the car, I said good morning to him in French, and he replied for the, in the same language. Apart from a few words, I don't know any French at all. Neither neither of us spoke during the journey. I had nearly reached the town when the young man suddenly said very slowly, Do you speak English? As I soon learned, it was English himself. Lesson Lessons 15. Good news. What was the good news? The secretary told me that Mr. Harmsworth would see me. I felt very nervous when I went into his office. He did not look up from his desk when I entered. After I had sat down, he said that business was very bad. He told me that the firm could not to the firm could not pay so could not afford to pay such good salaries, Sa such large salaries. Twenty people had already left. I knew that my turn had come. Mr. Hamsworth, I said in a weak voice, don't interrupt, he said, then his mouth, and told me I would receive an extra thousand pounds a year. Lesson 16. A polite request. What was a polite request? If you park, if you park your car in the wrong place, in the wrong place, a traffic policeman will soon find it. You will be very lucky if he lets you go without a ticket. But this does not always happen. Traffic police are sometimes very polite. During a holiday in Sweden, I found this note on my car. Sir, we welcome you to our city. This is no parking area. You will enjoy your stay here if you pay attention to our strange signs. This note is only a reminder. If you received a request like this, you cannot fail to obey it. Lesson 17. Always young. Always young. Why doesn't Aunt Jennifer tell anyone how old she is? My Aunt Jennifer is an actress. She must be at least 35 years old. In spite of this, she often appears on, on the stage as a young girl. Jennifer will have to take part in a new play soon. This time, she will be a girl of 17. In the play, she, she must appear in a bright red dress and long black stockings. Last year, in, in, in another play, she had to wear short socks and a bright orange colored dress. If anyone ever asks her how old she is, she always answers, Darling, it must be terrible to be grown up. Lesson 18. He often does this. What happened? What had happened to the retrospect? After I had had lunch at a village pub, I looked for my bag. I had left it on the chair beside the door, and now it, and now it wasn't there. As I was looking for it, the landlord came in. Did you have a good meal? He asked. Yes, thank you. I, I answered, but I can't pay the bill. I haven't got my bag. The landlord smiled and immediately went out. In a few minutes, he returned with my bag and gave it back to me. I'm very sorry, he said. My dog had taken it into the garden. He often does this. Lesson 18. Uh, lesson 19. Sold out. When will the writer see the play? 
The play may have uh, may begin at any moment. I said. It mm, it may have begun already. Susan answered. I hurried to the ticket office. May I have two tickets, please? I asked. I'm sorry, we've sold out. The girl said. What a pity! Susan exclaimed. Just then, a man hurried to the ticket office. Can I return these two tickets? He asked. Certainly, the girl said. I went back to the ticket office at once. Can I have those two tickets, please? I asked. Certainly, the girl said. But they are for next next Wednesday's performance. Do you still want them? <coughs> I might as well have them. I said. Sadly, lesson twenty. One man in the boat. Why is fishing is why is, why is fishing the writer's favorite sport? Fishing is my favorite sport. I often fish for hours without catching anything. But this does not worry me. Some fishermen are unlucky. Instead of catching fish, they catch old boats and rubbish. I'm even less lucky. I never catch anything, not even old boats. After having spent whole mornings on the river, I always go home with an empty bag. You must give up fishing, my friends say. It's a waste of time. But they don't realize one important thing: I'm not really, I'm not really interested in fishing. I'm only interested in, only interested in sitting boat and doing nothing at all. Lesson twenty-one: Mad or not? Why do people think the writer is mad? Airplanes are slowly driving me mad. I I live near an airport, and passing play can be heard night and day. Can be heard night and day. The airport was built years ago, but for some reason it could not be used then. Last year, however, it came into use. Over a hundred people must be driven away from their homes by the noise. I'm one of one of the few people left. Sometimes I think this house will be knocked down by passing play. I have been offered a large, a large sum of money to go away, but I am determined to stay here. Everybody says I must be mad, and they are probably right. Lesson twenty-two: A glass envelope. How did Jane receive the letter from a stranger? My daughter Jane never dreamed of receiving a letter from a girl of her her own age in Holland. Last year, we were traveling across the channel. And Jean put a piece of paper with her name and address on it into the into a bottle. She threw the bottle into the sea. She never thought of it again. But ten months later, she received a letter from a girl in Holland. Both girls write to each other regularly now. However, they have decided to use the post office. Letters will cost a little more, but they will certainly travel faster. Lesson twenty-three: New house. New house. Why is new house special? I had, I had, I had a letter from my sister yesterday. She she lives in Nigeria. In her letter, she said that she would come to England in next year. If she comes, she will get. Who said they get a surprise? We are now living in a beautiful house in the country. Work on it had begun before my sister left. The house was completed five months ago. In in my letter, I told her that she could stay with us. The house has many large rooms and there is a lovely garden. It is a very modern house, so it looks strange to some people. It must be the only modern house in the district. Lesson twenty-four. It could be worse. I entered a one.、Uh, had the writer's money been stolen? I entered the hotel manager's office and sat down. I had just lost fifty pounds, and I felt very upset. I left the money in my room. I said, "Yeah, but." It's not there now. The manager was sympathetic, but he could do nothing. Ever once, losing money these days, he said. He started to complain about this wicked world, but 
was interrupted by knock on the door. The girl came in and put an envelope on his desk. It contained fifty pound. I found this outside this gentleman's room, she said. Well, I said to the manager, there is some honesty in this world. There are still some honesty in this world. Lesson twenty-five. Do the English speak English? Why does the writer not understand the border? I arrived in London at last. The railway station was big, black, and dark. I did not know the way to my hotel, so I asked the porter. I not only spoke English very carefully, but very clearly as well. The porter, however, did not understand me. I repeated my question several times, and at last, he understood. He answered me, but he spoke neither slowly nor clearly. I am a foreigner, I said. Then he spoke slowly, but I could not understand it. My teacher never spoke English like that. The porter and I looked at each other and smiled. Then he said something, and I understood it. You were so learned English, he said. A wonder in England. Each person speaks a different language. The English understand each other, but I don't understand them. Do they speak English? Lesson twenty-six. The best critics. Who is the student? Student best critic. I'm I'm an art student, and I paint a lot of pictures. Many people pretend that they understand modern art. They always tell you what a picture is about. Of course, of course, many pictures are not about anything. They are just pretty patterns. We like them in the same way that we like pretty cotton material. I think, I think that young children often appreciate modern art better than anyone else. They notice more. My sister is only seven. She always tells me whether my pictures are good or not. She came into my my room yesterday. What are you doing? She asked. I'm hanging this picture on the wall. I answer. It's a new one. Do you like it? He looked at it critically for a moment. It's all right, he said. But isn't it isn't it upside down? I look at that again. She was right. It it was lesson twenty seven. A white night. What happened to the boys in the night? Late in the afternoon. The boys, the boys put up their tent in the middle of the field. As soon as this was done, they cooked a meal over an open over an open fire. They were all hungry, and the food smelled good. After a wonderful meal, they told stories and sang songs by the campfire. But sometimes later, it began to rain. The boys, the boys, felt tired, so they put up, they put up the fire, and crept into their tent. Their sleeping bags were so were warm and comfortable, so they all slept. Suddenly, in the middle of the night, two boys woke up and、uh, began shouting. The tent was full of water. They all leapt out of their sleeping bags and hurried outside. It was raining heavily, and they found that the stream had formed in the field. The stream wandered its way across the field, across the field, and then. Flown right under their tent. Lesson twenty-eight. 二十八课 No parking. What is Jasper White's problem? Jasper White is one of those real people who believes in ancient myths. He has just bought a new house in the city. But ever since he came, he when he moved in, he has had trouble with cars and their owners. When he returns home at night, he always finds that someone has parked car outside his gate. In because of this, he has not been able to 
get her own car into the, his garage even once. Jasper pulled up, pulled up no parking signs outside his gate, but these have not had any effect. Now he pulled nobly stone head over the gate. It is one of the uh, one of the ugliest faces I have ever seen. I asked him what it was, and he told me that it was Medusa, the Gorgon. He hoped that she would turn cars and their owners to stone, but none of them have been turned to stone yet. Lesson twenty nine, 二十九课 Taxi. Did. Does. Does Captain. Does Captain Fawcett think any trip is too dangerous? Captain Ben Fawcett has bought non-euro taxi and has begun a new service. The. Taxi is a small swans play card pin transporter. This wonderful play can carry seven passengers. The most surprising thing about it, however, is that it can land anywhere, on snow, water, or even on a plowed field. Captain Fawcett's first passenger is a doctor who flew. Who flew from Birmingham to a lowland village in the in the Welsh mountains? Since then, Captain Fawcett has flown passengers to many unusual places. Once, he landed on the roof of a block of flats, and on another occasion, they landed in they landed in. A deserted car park. Captain Fawcett has just refused a strange, a strange request from a businessman. The man wanted to fly to Rocky Hall, a lowland island in the Atlantic Ocean, but Captain Fawcett did not take it because the trip was too dangerous. 好，今天的三十课 ，Lesson Thirty。Football or polo? What had ha what happened to the man in boat? The well is a small river. Who the the small river that cuts across the park near my home? I like I like seeing I like seeing by the well on fine afternoons. Last last. Last it it was warm last Sunday. I went and sat on the river bank, the river bank as well. Some some children were playing games on the bank, and there were some people rowing on the river. Suddenly, one of the children kicked the ball very hard and. It went across. It went toward the went towards the a passing boat. Some people on the bank called out, called out to the man in the boat, but he did not hear them. The ball struck him so hard that he nearly fell into the water. I turn. I turn to look and. The ball, the children. Turn to look at the children, but there weren't any inside. They had all run away. The man, the man laughed when he realized what had happened. He called out. He called out to the children and threw the ball, threw the ball, back to the bank, back to the bank. 一到三十课的课文背诵就到这里，好，下次见，拜拜。